that rabbis who know it is halakha will not come out and say so openly because of, because of a fear. Why don't you just throw him in? I am out. Please. Please, pardon. This isn't the Knesset. <laughs> Shalom, goodbye. Shalom, Hashem. The incredible, the incredible kind of, not one rabbi will debate me, not one other rabbi except in this synagogue will let me speak and give a shield, a shield on this. Instead, an ignoramus gets up and shouts, I want a debate on halakha on this. A debate on halakha. And let's hear what it is really. So rabbis tell us, Torah tells us, In Pashat Shoftim. Pashat Shoftim. That when one goes to war, he takes Salem And in the Sifri, it immediately says, in the Chemet Rishut, Akatub the verse is speaking about a voluntary war, not only a war against the Canaanite nation, but a Mechemet Rishut meaning any war, any war against any enemy. That's what it says. So without context, in any war, when we go to war, we have to first give them an opportunity for peace. And if they choose peace, and they shall, this is the, the origin of the concept of tribute and servant. The non-Jew wishes to live in Eretz, in Eretz Israel must accept misim the approval. That is halakha, tribute and servant. He is not, he is not a citizen. He doesn't sit in the Knesset to vote on who is a Jew. And I think it's an important thing for us to finally realize and, and know and see exactly what the halakha is. I want to bring down the Rambam for you, who will tell you exactly what we seem and our group are. We seem, of course, taxation. Abdul, this is the Rambam. And I purposely bring down the Raman because he is, of course, a progressive thing. He's a doctor. And the servitude that they shall accept. They shall be in contempt and low. Below Yarimu Rosh Klal Israel, they shall never lift their head up in Israel. Ela Yu Pushim they shall be captured under them. Below Yit Manu Al Israel the Shum Davar Dola, and they shall never be appointed over Jews at any time in anything. That's Halakha, and the Halakha is that neither a king nor a Dayan, nor a Sal, even Misha Mimune Ala Mayim, the Gemara says, even a Paki, a clerk in the area, Jerusalem, is not allowed to be a non Jew. Now, you may not be happy with this. That's your problem. It's not my problem. But it's certainly his problem. Either he doesn't know this, which is probably true, or worse, he does know doesn't have the courage to say, this too is halakha. In Judaism, halakha is not limited to the kitchen or the bedroom. Halakha 
הלכה is a way of life. הלכות שבת הן הלכות מלאכים. There are laws of the Shabbat and the laws of government and there are laws of Arabs. Arabs aren't just Arabs, there are laws concerning Arabs. What is the status of an Arab, of a non-Jew? What is the status? And if we accept Torah, we accept all of Torah and not part of Torah. And the question is not to me. Why don't other rabbis say it? This question has to be put to the other rabbi. It has to be put to them and ask why. You medeno rabbeinu, teach us why. Teach us, teach us. Teach us what is wrong with what God has said in terms of halakha. What is wrong in terms of halakha? 